Hello all, I am back again and it's literally about five minutes since I posted the last video that I wrote, my first video. I guess I didn't really write it, I spoke it. Um, but anyways, um, I don't feel like I conveyed what I was really trying to convey about pain. Uh, the main thing that I wanted to convey about pain, I think I got across uh, stating that it is not something to invoke suffering. It is a teaching tool that the Father uses in order to get us to pay attention and to slow down and to, so that he can show us what he needs to show us when he needs to show it to us. They said, uh, with the hustle and bustle going on and everybody running around doing whatever they want to do, nobody stops to take a minute to listen anymore and to just figure out what's going on in their lives. And pain and disease and all that Yes, they're not things that in this life that we look at as good or look at as being, you know, a good thing because it doesn't make us happy. It doesn't do things that, you know, teach us what we need to do, I guess. Um, I didn't say that right at all. I, I'm getting distracted, um, which tells me that I'm trying to say something that actually means something because every time I get distracted when I'm talking to somebody, it's usually when I'm trying to hit something important. Um, and it seems like somebody doesn't want me to say this, but I know that I need to. So let me try this again. The Father wants you to know that pain is not suffering that pain is to get you out of suffering the pain is to get you to pay attention to what is going on to what he wants to tell you because the only way to not suffer to get out of this hell that we live in is to pay attention and to do what he asks you to do to find your way in life and to do his works the Father is not the person that the Bible makes him out to be. He is not a vengeful God. Why would God be vengeful? Why would God be jealous? Why would, if he had created everything in the world, why, why would he be jealous? What would he have to be jealous of? He's like any father or any mother would you ever be jealous of your child? You would not be jealous of anyone, even if your child did way better than you, which is what we all hope. I have five kids myself, and I hope that each and every one of them does better than I have in my life. And I would be so proud. I would not be jealous. So why do people, why do religions say that God is a jealous God? They cannot be talking about the creator of all. They cannot. And if you look back at ancient texts, if you look back at anything farther than 2,000 years back, they all talk about the same thing. They all talk about, you know, a savior that came and there were three wise men and a star in the sky and a virgin birth and all, like... They say them in their own ways, but they're all saying the same thing. They all have the same story in them. That, to me, tells you that, you know, all religions are just trying to take you their own way and to make you see something than what you're supposed to see. I truly believe that if you look at each religion and you find the one thing in that religion that is different from all religions... And then you take all those differences, and then you combine them all together, that's where you truly need to be. That's what you truly need to be following. Because it only makes sense. I mean, the Father wants us all to be happy. He doesn't want us to suffer. He doesn't want us to go through all the pain that we go through. But He has to put us through the pains in order to get us to where we need to be so that we can one day be with him. Now, 
I really have no idea if anybody's going to see these videos. Like I said, I only have one follower, and I don't even know who it is. They, I can't even see who the follower is. It might even be me. I don't know. Um, I am totally new to this, but the Father wanted me to come to you and to convey these things to you. Just remember that pain is not the enemy. Pain is there to help and to assist. And once you realize what the pain is for, the pain will be gone. The pain will go away. Just like life, I mean, and people in your lives, we've, everybody comes into your life for a reason. Some, very few, will stick around in your life, and the rest will leave. It's kind of like a seed being planted. The seed, it, someone might come into your life and you might not ever realize that they came into your life. And that seed, and, and that person, that's them, or that's the father planting a seed in your life. When they first come into your life, you may have seen, you, know, you may have seen a glimpse of them. And then later on down the road, all of a sudden you realize, hey, I've seen you before. Well, that's that seed that God planted that is now starting to sprout out of the earth. And then that seed's going to start growing as you get to know this person. And once it blooms, that's like the apex of your relationship. That's when you're getting what God needs you to get out of the relationship. And then that flower's going to slowly wither away. And that flower's going to eventually die. Just like every relationship. Just like every human being, every living thing on this planet, it all goes the same. It starts as a seed, it starts as something very small, and it grows to something magnificent. And then once its time has peaked and it starts losing its purpose, it starts to die to make room for the next new thing that is to come. I mean, I hope this is all making sense. Um, like I said, I I don't even know where a lot of this stuff is coming from. This isn't even stuff that I wrote down earlier. Um, this is just stuff that is just coming to me while I sit here, and I feel the need to, you know, bring it to you all. Um, you know, we live in this world. Well, I live in this world, and you're a part of my world, and I am now a part of your world. But we do not live in the same world. We live on the same planet. But we don't live in the same world. The earth and the world are two totally separate things. Right now, in my world, I am sitting in a parking lot talking to my phone in order to bring you this message. And in your world, you're either sitting there listening on your phone, in front of your computer, doing whatever. But I am coming into your world as a seed and being planted. You might not even notice it. I might be in the background somewhere on somebody else's computer and you just happen to hear me speaking. But however it is, we need to recognize that the world and the earth are two totally separate things. We each have our own world, our own reality. And people may cross into our reality, may cross into our world. And they do it for a reason. The Father places people in our reality for a reason. To teach us a lesson. To show us a way. To get us to where we need to be. Where He needs us to be. We got to remember too. That some people may come into our world. And they don't understand. Or we don't understand why they were brought into our world. You know. They may be brought into our world, not for us, but if they're brought into our world, that means that we're also brought into their world. And so we may be brought into the world for them, or they may be brought into our world for them and not for us, because we have something that they need as opposed to us having something, or as opposed to them having something that we need. 
and I think that'll do it. Um, I don't feel anything else right now, so I'm going to go ahead and call it quits here. I've actually, speaking of pain, I'm going into physical therapy right now because of some uh, back pain I've been having. Um, but I really don't think the physical therapy is going to do much for it because I'm starting to see what the father needs me to do. I have slowed myself down and started listening and yes I'm doing the physical therapy and the back pain's getting a bit better uh, now but I think that's just because I am also just now starting to realize what it is the father needs me to do. Um, but I have an appointment to get to and I hope I have at least uh, gotten through to someone out there. Hopefully somebody gets to see this. I don't know if you will or not, but I'm sure if the Father has imprinted this on my heart to bring to you, then the Father is going to bring you to my page and to have you listen to this. May the Father bless you. May the Father touch your heart. I love you all.